Unit Four. Listen and read. This is Mina. I used to live on a farm when I was a young girl. What was life like then? I didn't go to school because I had to stay home and help my mom. I used to look after my younger brothers and sisters. What did Great Grandma do? She used to cook the meals, clean the house, and wash the clothes. That sounds like hard work. It was, and there wasn't any electricity. Mom had to do everything without the help of modern equipment. What did you do in the evenings? After dinner, Mom lit the lamp, and Dad used to tell us stories. Do you remember any of them? Oh yes, the best one was the lost shoe. It's an old folk tale. Please tell me the tale, Grandma. Traditional stories are great. All right. Once a poor farmer. Listen. Unit four. Our past. Listen and read. This is Mina. I used to live on a farm when I was a young girl. What was life like then? I didn't go to school because I had to stay home and help my mom. I used to look after my younger brothers and sisters. What did Great Grandma do? She used to cook the meals, clean the house, and wash the clothes. That sounds like hard work. It was, and there wasn't any electricity. Mom had to do everything without the help of modern equipment. What did you do in the evenings? After dinner, Mom lit the lamp, and Dad used to tell us stories. Do you remember any of them? Oh yes, the best one was the lost shoe. It's an old folk tale. Please tell me the tale, Grandma. Traditional stories are great. All right. Once a poor farmer. Unit four. Our past. Read. The lost shoe. Once a poor farmer had a daughter named Little P. After his wife died, the farmer married again. His new wife had a daughter, Stout Nut. Unfortunately, the new wife was very cruel to Little P. Little P used to do chores all day. This made Little P's father very upset. He soon died of a broken heart. Summer came and went, and in the fall, the little village held its harvest festival. That year, everyone was excited as the prince wanted to choose his wife from the village. Stout Nut's mother made new clothes for Stout Nut, but poor little P had none. However, before the festival started, a fairy appeared and magically changed little P's rags into beautiful clothes. As little P ran to the festival, she lost one of her shoes. When the prince found the shoe, he decided to marry the girl who owned it. Of course, the shoe fitted little P, and the prince immediately fell in love with her. Read. The Lost Shoe. Once a poor farmer had a daughter named Little P. After his wife died, the farmer married again. His new wife had a daughter, Stout Nut. Unfortunately, the new wife was very cruel to Little P. Little P had to do chores all day. This made Little P's father very upset. He soon died of a broken heart. Summer came and went. In the fall. The village held a harvest festival. That year, everyone was excited as the prince wanted to choose his wife from the village. Stout Nut's mother made new clothes for her, but poor Little P had none. However, before the festival started, a fairy appeared and magically changed Little P's rags into beautiful clothes. As Little P ran to the festival, she dropped one of her shoes and lost it. When the prince found the shoe, he decided to marry the girl who owned it. Of course, the shoe fitted little P, and the prince immediately fell in love with her.
Listen. Listen to the story. Write the letter of the most suitable moral lesson. Once a farmer lived a comfortable life with his family. His chickens laid many eggs, which the farmer used to buy food and clothing for his family. One day he went to collect the eggs and discovered that one of his chickens laid a golden egg. He shouted excitedly to his wife, "We're rich! We're rich!" His wife ran to him, and they both looked at the egg in amazement. The wife wanted more, so her husband decided to cut open all the chickens and find more golden eggs. Unfortunately, he couldn't find any eggs. When he finished, all the chickens were dead. There were no more eggs of any kind for the foolish farmer and his greedy wife. Listen. Listen to the story. Write the letter of the most suitable moral lesson. Once a farmer lived a comfortable life with his family. His chicken laid many eggs, which the farmer used to sell to buy food and clothing for his family. One day he went to collect the eggs and discovered one of the chickens laid a gold egg. He shouted excitedly to his wife, "We're rich! We're rich!" His wife ran to him, and they both looked at the egg in amazement. His wife wanted more, so her husband decided to cut open all the chickens and find more gold eggs. Unfortunately, he couldn't find any eggs. When he finished, all the chickens were dead. There were no more eggs of any kind for the foolish farmer and his greedy wife.